everybody. Welcome back to my canal. My name is Ali Hayes. <laughs> What's your name? I'm Chris. This is Uncut Advice. Uncut Advice. We're back with some more red stories. Kaya is rubbing against the, the camera. It's a cat. No, the tripod. Um, so if it starts moving, you know why. She's very lovely right now. Kaya can't reach her. I'm very small. She's so small. Very small cat. Small girl. Small girl. Well... What are we doing today? I don't know. With you have the story. Today I don't know. I'm reading a story yeah. from r slash relationship advice. As we always do. And we're do. gonna react yep. and provide advice. That's what we do. It's you know we only go off of whatever's there. We can only make yeah. assumptions, fill in information. Yeah. Um, you know, no hate or to the people involved. Um, and there's a line between needing advice and being in a tough situation. Versus having a toxic relationship. So this does not go for toxic, unhealthy relationships. Kai, Kai is very lovely right now. She's so cute. Are you ready? Uh, are those all the things? Oh, so. oh, and uh, we love this healthy discussion. We love you. Just keep, we love you. But keep it respectful and, you know, don't, don't be an asshole in the comments. Kai is attacking my foot now. You're going to have a good one with this one. Okay. okay. I'm with my child. Okay, my 25F boyfriend, 31 male, is acting strange since our attempt at pizza night. That's a man job, honey. What's going on? <laughs> Last night, we discussed setting up our pizza oven for today. I asked if he wanted to handle it or if I should. Feeling prepared after watching several YouTube videos... Where both women and men easily set up similar ovens, I was confident. His okay. response was unexpected. That's a man's job, honey. I thought he was joking. Later, he mentioned, the oven is really hot. I don't think you can handle 900 degree temperatures. <laughs> Today, we spent hours preparing our outdoor space for using our new pizza oven. I cleaned everything up set up lounge chairs, went grocery shopping, prepared dough, and assembled pizzas. He helped me to move the oven and was supposed to assist with assembly and cooking. Since he was finishing work, I took charge of setting it up according to the manual. Manual? <laughs> Once everything was ready, I took a break while he started cooking the pizzas. During his first attempt, he left the oven... Or sorry, he left a pizza on the peel in the oven. Trying not to interfere, I gently asked, are you cooking it on the peel? He seemed unsure and asked, are you supposed to? Remembering the videos, I suggested it wasn't the correct method. This is Canyon. He took the pizza off the peel, but it started burning quickly. Frantically, he tried to turn it, causing smoke everywhere. I adjusted the heat to prevent burning, but he snapped at me for changing it without asking, saying, Did I ask you to turn the heat down? So I turned it back up. Unfortunately, the first pizza was completely burnt. No, not, not surprised there. I suggested lowering the heat for the next one, and he asked me if I wanted to try. I said sure, and he said under his breath, since you know how to do it. I hope it comes out perfect. I hope it comes out I managed perfect. the next two pizzas smoothly. Yes, yeah, While he did. sat down to eat without acknowledging me. I sensed he was upset for not knowing the proper method despite watching videos. I didn't intend to undermine him. I just wanted to ensure our pizzas weren't all burnt after spending the whole day setting it up. Maybe my suggestions made him feel inadequate, especially since he sees it as a man's job. But I only relied on my preparation and video learning. He's been unusually quiet since... Did I handle this situation poorly? How should I approach situations where I know what to do and he doesn't? Should I offer advice or let him figure it out? I know some women say to let a man figure it out on his own, whatever it may be. Besides stepping in will only make them feel bad about themselves or ashamed a woman can do it. Is this true? <laughs> I wish I could have seen your face. I'm going to have to watch everything back. It's, it was this face any time I was reacting. What did you think? Gross. <laughs> Who's in the wrong here? Who do you think's in the wrong here? <laughs> Society saying that there's a difference between men and women jobs. Right. I mean, that's for sure. 
I don't like that he's playing into it and he's like, this is a man's job, honey. Oh, fuck. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> what the fuck's going on? <laughs> oh, God. This is annoying. <laughs> this is annoying. It's annoying. It's like a small issue, but it, it signals a lot worse than the yeah. small issue. I think I'm mostly annoyed because it's like... Okay, no, no. I was going to... Here's what I was going to say, and then I decided I don't actually feel this way. I was okay. going to say, I'm annoyed because he grew up in a world where he feels that way. Like, he's been taught to feel that way. But then I'm like, mm, you received outside pressures, and you are the most secure man I know, you know? Yeah. Um, so, like, I think part of it is societal pressures, definitely. Like, I, I don't not... Un- like, I fully understand that a lot of cis men are pushed into feeling macho and feeling like they need to be assertive and this and that. But, like, there's only so much of that you get. Like, people who claim that I'm this way because of my parents being this way, and it's like, you can change. Like, Yeah. If you have the wherewithal to realize that you're this way, you probably have the wherewithal to make growth towards it. So, I just... Anytime a man calls a woman honey, also... Well, it just feels gross. Something about honey, awful. <laughs> in like in like that context. In like that context, like, sure. Honey, can you get me the, the remote? Fine. Because I, I know your parents I'm call running. each other honey. But like, it's not like, oh, honey. You know, it's like that southern, like, honey, that's a man's job. Yeah. <laughs> gross. Gross. Hate it. Yeah, honey, you can't be around 900 degree temperature. And you can! I hate this sh- my, my favorite posts making fun of toxic masculinity are like, fellas, is it gay to wear sunscreen? You know, like those <laughs> where it's like, it's like <sighs> feminine or gay yeah. to be a basic human. Right. Fellas, fellas is it gay to, to hold your dick while you're peeing? <laughs> you're holding a, a dick, you know, like shit like that. My yeah. favorite post when they're like funny posts, you know? Yeah. Or I can't remember the one. There was one that it was like, I got called gay in the street for holding an umbrella. I didn't know peop- men turned waterproof all of a sudden, you know? Like, it's just like, yeah, you can handle a 900 degree heat over me? Right. My dude, I menstruate once a month if she does it. You don't need to do that to be a woman. But, uh, sorry, our cats are fighting un- underneath me. Hello? Oh, battle's been paused. <laughs> it's just it's just like why does toxic mac- masculinity also make you think that you're superhuman yeah. or that like you're weak for base limitations in being a human or base needs in being a human like I don't think you can handle 900 degree heat um why can you but but then he burned the pizza though we're not even getting to how incompetent he was. Okay. <laughs> but, like, I'm just starting with the whole... Yeah. Like, this story, if he didn't say that line, I would be less upset about. Right. Because, like... The context makes it... Yes. ...worse, for sure. Like, let's say that line didn't exist. In itself, I get being upset that you tried something, and then your partner's better at it, and yeah. you, like, had the same amount of... Like, it'd be different if he didn't also watch the videos, and I'm like, why did you think you could do this? Mm. But... She's probably more thorough. I mean, I'm sure, but... Like, that's okay. It's okay to feel like, damn, I wanted to do the pizzas. You know what I mean? Like, that in and of itself is reasonable. I mean, being upset days for it is a little insane, but, like, being like... I mean, they should communicate about it. He should have been like, babe, I really wanted to do the pizzas. Like, I'm glad that you were better at it, but yeah. I really wanted to do them, and I I wish you had walked me through it instead of taking over. I wanted this to be, like, something that I could Yeah, could like, you do. did like, all I the... I be a pizza man. <laughs> <laughs> you did all the cleaning, like, let, I wanted to do the pizza part. Yeah. Um, you set up the whole patio, which was yeah. so nice. Yeah, and I just, I felt in, incompetent. And I wish, like, we had collaborated on it more, maybe. Like, that's a healthy way of going about it. But... Based on his, him being upset for this long, and his comment about her being a woman and being incompetent, yeah, it makes it worse. And it's not like a, damn, I really wanted to do it. And it's like a, how can she do it and I can't? I'm not a man anymore. You know, like yeah. taking it personally as a hit to your masculinity instead of like, 
fuck, I want to do the pizzas, you know? Yeah, he like, must there's, have been. A, there's a clear difference between those two. He must have been pissed that pizza was burnt, dude. Like, what did you think was going to happen? <laughs> she was trying to save the day. Actively burning, and he's like, did I tell you to turn it up? No, turn it down? She's like, okay, get fucked. But, like, imagine from her, like, she did everything else. I know. She made all of these pizzas just to watch them burn. Like, I would oh, also be like, hey, move the fuck out of the way. You obviously don't know what you're doing, <laughs> you know? Yeah. I mean, well, she set up the whole damn patio. She went grocery shopping. She made the fucking pizzas. And then to watch just, someone just fuck up the final step. They're of actively it. burning. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> That's so disappointing. Ridiculous. That was really disappointing. So, like, I, even in that scenario, like, I get her taking over. I don't think she did anything wrong. Yeah. Could she have, I don't know, communicated it instead of taking over? Maybe, but, like, it's hard with cooking. Like, shit happens so fast when you're cooking. And if it's a new experience, like, you, you don't want to... You don't have time to ruin all of those pizzas. Because no. now you're getting in and out at night, you know? Like, yeah. it's ruining like, like we dinner. we do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> We've had dinner fails before. Oh, yeah, and then we go and get in and out or talk about it, and we're like, we try. Yep. <laughs> so, I I feel for her. Yeah. I don't think she did anything wrong. Um, and it seems like he has a lot of insecurity with his masculinity that he should probably work through. Mm-hmm. Um, I just, how to fix it. What was her question at the end? Oh, jeez. Her qu- she had a lot of questions. Uh, how do I handle this? Si- did I situate? Bleh. Did I handle this situation poorly? Was number no, one. No, you did great, sweetie. I think I can agree with that. How should I approach the situations where I know what to do and he doesn't? I mean, that. Come on. Could, shouldn't he just own up to that he doesn't know how to do stuff? Like you that's guys not are honest on about it. Like her. that's not a that's not a question she should have to ask. I don't yeah, think. Yeah, it's fully like. Why do you feel like you can't communicate this to him? Right. Like, if, if you're doing something wrong, I'd be like, babe, let me, let me do it. Yeah. And you'd be like, oogie. Okay. So her, her main thing is, yeah, should I offer advice or let him figure it out, like, on his own? I think give him a minute, you know? Like, everybody deserves a minute. Yeah. But if he's about to ruin your dinner, be like, hey, babe, do you mind if I step in here? Or, like, Oh, remember I watched I watched the video. We watched that video, and they did this instead of that. What if we tried that? It seems to not be working. Like, mm-hmm. but even while I'm saying these things, I don't think he's rational enough and like secure in himself enough to take your advice. So it doesn't matter how you go about it. He's always gonna throw a hissy fit. It seems right. like he's like I'm a man. Yeah, like how dare you be better at this than me? And. If that how if that if that's how he's feeling about this, like I'm sure he's feeling that way about other things. I'm sure he will slight you on other things. And like you're yeah. you're not married, so I don't know how I want to know how long they've been together. Me too. I was trying to like check um, her post history to see if she like talked more about it, but mm-hmm. it doesn't look like it. Unfortunately. Okay. Because that was my thing. Like, how long have you been together? Has it been a few months? You don't need this. It's it's a sign to. He's probably going to be this way about a lot of things and be insecure in himself in a lot of ways. Yeah. Have you been together for years and this is it? Maybe just had a bad day or like really feel some sort of way about pizzas. Mm-hmm. I, I just feel like this isn't a one-off situation. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I have some extra non like non-related, but I found a comment that she made on another post okay. that helps to describe his character more. It, she's commenting on another relationship advice post about like junk food and stuff and like getting in shape and she said my boyfriend complains about being unhealthy me being unhealthy because of my eating habits (laughs) so that's another tidbit so he's upset with her for how she eats she said if I go to pick up boba tea I ask him if he wants one because I don't want to be rude sounds like he doesn't that sounds doesn't want that Sounds re- relevant to the, whatever the other post was. Yeah. I'm just saying, it's, yeah, it sounds like he has some, a lot of manually yeah, it manisms. Yeah, seems, seems like he has a perception of not only, like, what a relationship looks like, gender roles look like, but also what his partner should look like. Yeah. Um, just, you don't need it. You don't yeah. need the man. 
I think the best way to go about it is to do what you're doing. Like, step mm-hmm. in. Don't make yourself smaller. Right. Because he can't handle having his masculinity questioned. Which it's yeah. not. Like, it's not. Let your fucking wife do the pizza oven. Let your wife do the pizza oven. <laughs> Yeah. Jesus Christ. I know. And it's like, it's, none of it makes sense. That That's so frustrating to me that that is like a thing that keeps coming up in a lot of these. It's just like the, like this weird, like ideal of what a man and a woman do in a relationship. And it's just totally a construct and like, doesn't, oh, isn't yeah. helpful to anybody. I just wish I could like nail that into these people's heads. Like it's almost always an issue, like with just like old school Man archaic. does everything archaic. Like, where is this coming from? It's crazy. Classic roles. Yeah. Christianity. and <laughs> Like, it depends on back. society, you know? Like, it, it's... Different cultures have always had different roles. Like, there's some matriarchies. There's mm-hmm. some patriarchies. Um, you know, in certain circumstances, women were the hunters and men were the guys. Like, it just depends. Yeah. And right now, our current Western ideal is men manly man and like feminine woman like dainty women yeah like women are small and men are big <laughs> that's what it comes down to yeah it's so it just sounds so silly to explain it though. yeah like it sounds so dumb because it is like people are people it doesn't yeah. fucking matter no like are there physical limitations sometimes but even then it's, it's like, like in extreme circumstances though yeah it's not a something to go by yeah, like, I, I, it just makes no sense for shit like that, where it's clearly, anybody can do it. Anyone. Yeah. And you're assigning gender to it for absolutely no reason. Mm-hmm. Like, all the, all the homophobic and transphobic people are like, liberals are so obsessed with gender, and it's like, we're literally not. We don't give a fuck what your gender is, actually. You care a lot more about someone else's gender than the person whose gender is in question for you. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. those people just want to be respected. And you're, like, in up in arms about it. Right. So. Yeah, it's, it's just interesting. Like, all these posts, I feel like, have that common thread. It's just silly. It's just dumb. <laughs> it is. This was a chill one to do, because I'm like, just, you don't need it. No, he obviously she has she a lot of that. insecurity. Like, if he's not willing to work on, that's the solution. You communicate with him, and he keeps closing up when you are better at him at something, or, or you're helping him with something, or he keeps assigning your place and, and what you should be doing versus what you are doing. Like, you don't need that. Yeah. And if you want, you can try to communicate with him and be like, look, you're belittling me, you're making yeah. it seem like I'm less than because I'm a woman. Or that I'm not as knowledgeable as you on something that we have the same knowledge, if not I have more. Mm-hmm. It's hurting our relationship and it's hurting how I'm feeling. And I don't enjoy it. And he got to be a big boy and try and change himself and change his ideals. And try to re- open up his mind and realize that women can do anything. Or you don't need it. You don't need it. I like that. That's good advice. I hope he can grow more, but he's also six years older than her and still feels this, like, clearly toxic masculinity in his life. Yeah. And you don't need to deal with a fragile man like that, you know? You can find somebody else who appreciates your strength and your excellence as a woman, as a human being, and doesn't... Unless you fucking put the pizza in the pizza oven that you made. Ridiculous. If I did all that work and you did the fun part of putting it in the pizza oven and you fucked it up, oh I'd my be God. so mad. Yeah, why is she pissed off? I'd why is she so off. chill? I'd scream. I'd be like, I did so much work. And I, you just fumbled the ball at the end. I've been in the backyard all fucking day. I've been shopping. I've been doing this and that. And I've been the pizza. The pizza. <laughs> so... Yeah. Know, this is a shorter one, but it's shorter solution. I don't think it's that complex. No, it's not that complex. It's very clear that he has some insecurities that he needs to deal with and if he doesn't deal with them and he keeps pushing them onto you you Mm. don't need that in your life yeah it points to some bigger issues potentially that you need to look at yeah yeah like does he do this a lot probably do you do you need someone who has that fragile of a masculinity 
No. Probably not. You seem cool. You seem cool as you fuck. You cool. watched videos and you learned how to f- fucking make that pizza shine, bitch. <laughs> and you you ate that. And you ate that. <laughs> also, if he's mad days after that you put pizza Still in the mad. pizza oven, that's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. That is, you know, crazy. that is wild. He's not, everything's been off since you didn't let him put the pizza in the pizza oven because he was ruining the pizza. Crazy. Listen to that sentence. That's crazy. I'm mad. I'm mad about it. I love that the more you think about it. Like, I just, the, I just, the, the, the pizza's just about a pizza. I get it. I get hung pizza. up on shit. I don't get over my emotions. Yeah. But it, if you apologize to... Maybe he thinks that you should apologize to him. Don't apologize to him. No way. He should the apologize to you. The only thing you could have done was maybe walk him through it instead of taking over. But he was actively ruining your dinner. It was a life or death situation. I get it. I'm turning down the dial because the pizza's actively smoking, darling. Fucking ridiculous. I'm mad now. No, you gotta put it back up. Did I tell you to turn it down? Okay, fine. <laughs> Like it just blows up. What the fuck? <laughs> it's actively on fire, and she's like, "That sucks." Like I wouldn't. Neither of us would let each other fuck up that bad. I don't think. No, no. Because then it's I just also, a waste all around. I mean, at the end of the day, though, he's not asking her for the help. You would ask me for help if like you're like, "Babe, I don't think this pizza's turning out." Babe, right? the pizza's burning. Babe, the pizza's on fire. I don't know what to do. Remember this fucking what was in the oven? bread. Chris, <laughs> our oven went on fire. It was a fucking massive fire in there. It was bread like this big, two pieces of it. <laughs> it shrunk to like... It, they were hard as a rock, black, and there was a fire in our fucking oven. Yeah. Insane. I was like, what do I do? Do I open it? We're like, no! You no. wanted me to open it, I think. Or did you tell me not to? I told you not to open it, no. Okay. I told you to if, turn off the oven yeah. and don't open it. If I open it, we're going to... Yes, because it would have been oxygen on a fire. Yeah, it would have been bad. Literally, I didn't even talk to him. I ran, put the cats in their carriers. Yeah. I was like, I'm ready. You ditched me. I'm just kidding. You needed to deal with the fire. (laughs) I would have came back for you after my cats were safely in a car. Fucking smoke just pouring out the back of the oven. It was crazy. It was insane. I was like, this house is going in flames. That was bad. Because, like, it's also, it was a gas stove, too, so yeah. my fear was that it was going to, like, blow up, fully catch on fire, hit the gas line, and fucking blow up. Well, so I shouldn't I, have been right next to it, then. No, you shouldn't have. <laughs> but I was worried about my babies. My cats were in their carriers, ready to go. Yeah. I literally, I had them right next to the door, and I was like, I'm noping out of here if it doesn't die down. And then it died down. Fairly quickly, I think. Yeah, it did. What a mess. It was on fire for a bit, though, a but it died down. It's always been me. Remember, like, the, the oil fire, too? Oh, when we were, you were grilling shrimps. I was grilling making shrimps. making shrimps. And, they, like, and, like, uh, what do you call that one? Skillet? Yeah. The skillet. <laughs> and then the... the pff, but it was, like, the oil, you know, oil was way too hot. The oil was burning. Yeah. And then I like, threw it in the sink and threw water on it. Like a, it, went, <laughs> it looked like a fucking atomic bomb. And it was, it was fine crazy. for some reason. Everything was fine. It was fine. Was Our fine. alarm didn't even go off. Our fire alarm Dude, didn't even go thank off. Thank goodness, because we were in a massive apartment yeah, building. It would have been a really a bad, a bad thing. So, anyway. So that was crazy. We didn't have cats back then, though, so. Yeah, just our own just, just demise. Us. Yeah. All right, Pete. Make your own damn pizza. Yeah, you don't need him. How about you take your pizza oven? You kick him out. Don't just, you know, yeah. you, do you guys live together? Yeah, there's a lot of questions here. Yeah. It's like, Give some y'all more got context. a patio and everything? Yeah. I feel like they've been together for a while. Dude. You don't need it. You don't need it. If this is the straw that breaks the relationship, Sometimes that's kind of it, it Like, I've read posts where people were like, the moment that they realized they couldn't be in this relationship. Anymore. And it's always usually like something dumb. Yeah. But it's just like, sometimes it just hits and you're like, oh. Oh no! Oh, it's all been things bad. are bad. Yeah, yeah. And you're like, and then it, it like once you are enlightened, it yeah. just spirals of like, oh fuck this situation. Oh fuck this situation. Oh my god. Yeah. I can't yeah, get out of this here. person anymore. Like, yeah. Just or it's just like something so true. Like, I've read people the ones where it's like they just had a baby and it's like, hey, I just need to shower for ten minutes. Can you watch the kid? And it's like. No, I'm watching the game. Or like, I made that up. Yeah. Or like something dumb like that, and it's yeah. like, oh, you're never gonna put me in our kid first. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> like sometimes, well, I don't. Kids are not a band aid. Don't have a kid if no. you are not in a very secure space. But like, sometimes they help. 
because now you have that like maternal or paternal mothers can be awful too but like um now you have those instincts of protecting somebody else and sometimes it's easier to want to protect somebody else than yourself and it's just like oh i don't want my kid to grow up like that person or Mm -hmm. i don't want my kid to see our interactions they need to know they need to know that that's not cool so don't have a kid but sometimes it can shine some lights yep don't have a kid though for y'all you need to figure out this pizza oven first I, I like that. We gave some other generalized advice and stuff. Talked about that society. That was, that was a good fun. Yeah, I'm proud of you. That was a really good one. Oh, good. I, that was a little short. I was like, uh-oh. And it worked, it worked know, out. I don't need to talk for 45 minutes the whole time. <laughs> it's clear. Uh, try to communicate with him. See if this is a pattern. Leave maybe, him. maybe he's willing to change. I doubt it. But have that yeah. conversation. See what happens. But you don't need it. Take your pizza oven and go, girl. Make your own Don't pizzas. make pizzas for someone else. Or yourself. You don't or yourself. Need yeah, make pizza for yourself. Yourself. Seems like she knows how. Bad bitch. I Bad wanna bitch. make pizza. I wanna make pizza now. Me we, too. We don't have pizza oven though. No, you can just use it in the oven. I want Velveeta though. I okay. got an ad we'll for Velveeta. And it looks so good. You ever It's just... so yellow. <laughs> Just it looks so creamy. Oh, I have good memories about Bovita too. One of my childhood best friends. My mom mainly made craft, and I would like always have Velveeta when I was at her place. I think. Secret Velveeta. Secret Velveeta. My mom made Velveeta a lot though, actually. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I just maybe it wasn't always, but like I have a very clear memory of being at her house eating Velveeta. Did I hate it actually? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. We, we like it now, and we're going to go eat it. No, so. I, I like at her place, I hate it. I see. Well, anyway, I told Chris, I'm like, if you go get Velveeta, and also deodorant, because we're out of deodorant, but if you go get Velveeta... We're struggling. <laughs> we're poor. No. We're good. Not we're good. Um, if you go get the Velveeta, I will make the Velveeta for dinner. Okay. Should we get, Deal. Like, broccoli? We didn't broccoli. Probably. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day. Happy birthday. Love you all. Do we have anything else to say? No. Bye. Bye. What if I did? That'd be fine. Well, then I would do it again. Okay. Okay, bye. bye.